Hello there everyone, welcome back to a new episode. And this echo off Grayson's mic is killing me. So I'm just gonna mute you for like five minutes. Anyway, um so we're going to today on the world we're gonna kill the weather. Uh, I just want to never start, honestly. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no point waiting. I might as well do it now. The world's ending soon anyway. And I want to make, make a beacon, so yeah. And I am back from holiday, yes. It was wonderful. And um, yeah. I'm not about to tell you all about it, because I can't believe it. Let's fight the wither. Can't remember what, what episode it's going to be when I get back. I'm pretty sure it was Turtle Hunt. I, I can't remember. I'll do the next episode. But today we're going to be fighting the weather. Now I'm going to do this with a new sword called Skull Crusher. This is the Smite 5 sword. I could use my bow, you know, eat some food. Let's get them into it. Now if you guys don't know how the weather works, you need uh, to put down four pieces of soul sand like I did and put three skulls on top to summon the weather. Uh, what does the weather drop? A never star, which can be used to make a beacon. Beacon can be used to buff you up if you're in a certain area of it. So uh, that's what we're doing. I'm going to make the beacon in this episode as well. Uh, if the quality changes, like from recording with my iPad to recording with Xbox, don't be surprised. Because this is going to take me forever. Probably. I mean, I'll see if we can use this on lapis, but I'm not sure. Now, I suck with bows. So this is going to be really painful to watch. But I'm going to try and hit as many shots as I can. This is the second wither I thought. I tried fighting one, but I, uh, I but I, um, I forgot to turn up the volume. But I have it this time, so I'm fine it again. Give me a full heal up. Now since this is an undead mob, Smite 5 is really good on this thing, but because it's in the air, there's no point trying to hit it with that, so I'm just going to use my bow. But once it gets to half health, it will go into phase 2, which then it's on the ground and it's... Yeah, you'll see. Uh, a bit too late, I've already started. And I don't have enough skulls to make another. And I got the bother to get enough skulls to make another. Because the world's ending soon. Um, number six. Let's go and kill these guys. So in phase two, it goes to the ground. It summons in some river skeletons to help it. Can't do anything at all because the skeletons suck. And it stays close to the ground in this one, but it does more attacks. Um, cowards. I'm not a coward. Hmm. The river's going to die so because Smack 5 does a lot of damage. And the river's dead. But now with the Never Star, it's time to. I see a whip. That, that's a river skull in the ocean. Lovely. We're now going to work towards making a beacon. See you guys back at base. Well, after grinding for a couple of hours, I now officially have, at least I think I do, enough blocks to complete a fully powered beacon. Now I'm going to have to take some ingots with me of some variety. I'll take gold. Why not? Um, so yes, the beacon's here. Don't, don't question why it's in the middle of the room. But if we drop down here, this is the dugout area. Um, all we need to do now is just fill it in, which should be fun, hopefully. Now, I don't know if you have to, like, I'm not sure. It just said a fully powered beacon needs this amount, so. I'm going to fill it as in I'm filling every single part of it. You would think that, right? I mean, it fills it. Yes, I did this with iron. I, I tried doing the gold one, but it was a bit too slow. So I just went iron mining instead, and it was way better. So, uh, yeah. 
here we are. This is the first time I have made a fully powered beacon before, so this is a massive achievement for me. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Don't know if this is a che che uh, uh, an achievement, but I don't care really. Let's just break out of here. Oh, I'm stuck. Lovely. <coughs> Probably noticed the difference in quality. I have changed ways of recording because I cannot record the normal way at the moment. Filling in the last couple of blocks. And there we go. There's a fully powered beacon. We just need to move it. Now, if you're wondering how many blocks you need for a fully powered beacon, it's 164. And there we have it. Fully powered. Alright, so first, we want speed. I'm not sure how this works. Okay, so you have to... Yeah. We want speed too. I don't know if you can hatch flare light have. I don't know how it works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this. So now we have... Oh, is it because of that thing? What's going on? Um... Uh, wait a minute. Have I messed something up here? this thing does it not like gold it must not like gold hang on I'm gonna test something here I'm, I'm not really a guy who makes beacons often so uh I will be surprised if I mess something up. So of course, minus 438.86. Let's go. Let's go see what the problem is. Maybe I have to like dig down and stuff, probably. Um, you in the way, get out the way, move, please. Oh, they're not moving. Move, 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 move. Move. go it worked all right let's this time we want regeneration because we want the secondary power oh we can have what do we want resistance or jump boost i think we want resistance here so what does that do that gets rid of strength all right so i can only have two of these like it's gonna stick. Ah, I see how it works. I see how it works. That's okay. That's fine. Um. So it looks like I need to keep that hole, but I'll have to decorate that at some point. Um. I don't have any ingots of any type. I 
I do now. Right, let's see. It's a shame I can't... Oh, that's bad. I guess I'm going to be want to be faster in here. Uh, jump boost we don't really need because there's barely anywhere to jump. Resistance. And then strength, I guess. Oh, you can't have all three. Or can you? No, that's just gone. So maybe you can only have one. I don't get that. <laughs> Speed is. Speed's probably the one I want the most. So. We. I got my weapon. So we get regeneration and speed, not bad. Let's test the uh, range of this. Because I know it has a range. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. That's pretty good. Wow, that's a good range. So wait, if I go really far away... And let it just do its thing. And I go back to my base. Hey, I like that. That's really good. I'm gonna work around something for this, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Next episode, I will be obtaining the turtle helmet. As you can see, I already have the suits ready. But we'll be um, doing stuff with turtle helmets next episode. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.